mosquitoes flying around inside this box could very well hold the key to fighting a disease that kills more than a million people annually, most of them children. Across the planet, almost half a billion of us will contract malaria from mosquitoes this year. The Johns Hopkins Malaria Research Institute opened in 2001 with $100 million and a mission, find a way to stop the spread of malaria. Dr. Marcelo Jacobs Lorena's boxes of mosquitoes are part of a pioneering set of studies by the Institute. My research focuses on the mosquito and uh, the basic science part of this research is to investigate the molecular mechanisms by which the parasite progresses through its life cycle in the mosquito. Dr. Jacobs Lorena's work is complemented by Hopkins field researchers in the area surrounding Macha Hospital in southern Zambia. They study the way mosquitoes transmit malaria in the places where humans are most likely to get sick and even die from the disease. We're in an area where there's been relatively few entomological studies. We're here to collect mosquitoes inside these houses by spray catches and aspirating them and they'll be tested for um, if they're infected with malaria, um, what they're feeding on, and we'll also do some population genetic studies to look at gene flow in different mosquito populations throughout the area. Everything we're finding out is relatively new, which makes it very exciting. And meeting the children and the people that the work directly impacts is, is very meaningful. In Africa, the number of people who die from malaria rivals the number killed by AIDS. We are here in Namala. During the rainy season, they are totally covered in water. During the dry season, the, the water, of course, recedes. It leaves uh, pockets of fresh water, uh, and those are believed to be uh, serving as breeding sites for malaria. Uh, during the dry season, so that there is year-round malaria transmission in this area. For humans, malaria starts with a mosquito bite, so efforts to curb the spread of the disease often focus on either treating the disease or physically keeping the insect away from humans using bed nets and insecticides or by getting rid of the mosquitoes altogether. But insects eventually grow resistant to chemical repellents. That is why Dr. Jacobs Lorena is focused on finding ways to attack the malaria parasite while it is still inside the infected mosquitoes. The advantage of our approach is that we are not interfering with mosquito numbers. Our goal is to make those mosquitoes resistant to the parasite so they cannot transmit. And if we are able to introduce genetically modified bacteria in most mosquitoes in a certain area, then people will continue to be bitten but the, the transmission will never occur. When a mosquito goes for lunch and that blood meal has malaria, the mosquito takes the parasite-filled blood into its midgut. A cyst filled with the parasite then breaks through the wall of the midgut and essentially explodes, launching exponentially more malaria parasites throughout the rest of the mosquito, including into its salivary glands, which is how it eventually makes its way into humans. The idea of transgenic research is to feed the mosquito a bacteria that can live in its midgut as a first line of defense. The midgut is a compartment where the most vulnerable stage of the malaria parasite development in the mosquito occurs. We have bacteria in our midgut and so do the mosquitoes. The concept that we are investigating is to engineer this bacteria to secrete substances that kill the parasite but do not affect the mosquito. The malaria parasite would never even make it out of the mosquito's gut. If we feed the mosquito with those engineered bacteria, the parasites don't do as well. It, they didn't, didn't kill all the parasites, and that we think because the bacteria produced that substance but kept it inside their cells. So uh, a big push in our research right now is to engineer the bacteria not only to produce the substance but secrete it out. So if if that substance then is able to diffuse, then they would get to the target parasite much more easily. Proof of principle that this modification of bacteria works in the lab has been already achieved. Uh, as the biggest challenge at the moment is how to introduce those transgenic bacteria in the field. We have an exploratory grant from the Gates Foundation to look at this problem. Italian scientists have successfully used genetic modifications to help mosquitoes develop resistance to other diseases and then to pass that resistance on to their offspring in the field. 
The same approach could work with the bacteria that kills the malaria parasite. If the bacteria populates the ovaries, then the mosquito will lay eggs containing the bacteria, hatching a potentially malaria-resistant generation of mosquitoes.